What is this? Yo, what's good, y'all? So this video right here is low-key something outrageous. It's not even crazy. It's outrageous. So I'm hungry, right? And the problem is there's two options. I could, you know, go out and get something to eat or I could cook for myself. Now, one problem I have with cooking for myself is I have the tendency of cooking uh, or let me say I have the tendency of being hungry. So then I cook. And then once the food's done, I'm not even hungry anymore. Like, I don't know how that works or how to explain it, but that's what always happens with me. So, instead of buying something to eat, I'm going to decide to make something to eat. Now, my food doesn't come out the best, but it comes out all right, though. Usually, I leave it in too long for some reason. I'm the type of person that likes my food crispy, right? Now, with me having it crispy, that means... Some people might leave theirs in for 20 minutes, all right? I'll leave mine in for 21 minutes and 30 seconds. Now, the problem is with that 30 seconds, it gets burnt. So it's like with this pizza, I'm just gonna go ahead and listen to what they say. We've been having the oven preheat. I believe they said 400. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and check out this box. All right, y'all, so this is the box right here. I really don't know how to pronounce the name. I know his name is Little Yachty. So is it Yachi or is it Yachi? Yachi? Anyway, Yachi's Pizzeria. Um, so we got the pepperoni and bacon pizza. This is the only one that they had left. It was this or cheese. I got this from Walmart. If you want to know, I'm actually surprised because he made a post about it. Oh, snap. He made a post about it on his Instagram. And he was like, Yachty's um, pizza available in all Walmarts. And I'm like, my Walmart not finna have this because my Walmart's the type of Walmart that be running out of juice, be running out of. You feel me? Like, you'll go in there and they don't have it. So, I really am a pepperoni type of guy, but since they only had this, I got pepperoni and bacon. Now, with the ingredients, it says loads of zesty hmm, pepperoni, smoky bacon, and seasoned crust with cheddar cheese. Now, I went over the ingredients, and there's a lot of different cheeses. There's a whole bunch of different stuff in here. Now let's read this message. Rising crust pepperoni and bacon pizza. This is what gets to me because I ate rising crust pizza before and it's literally the best pizza. But if Yachty's rising crust is fire, I'm going to definitely let you guys know. What's better than pizza? How about a rising crust pizza that's loved by hip hop's mongrel little Yachty? It starts with a crispy crust that's coated in parmesan and shredded cheese puff seasoning on the outside and tender freshly baked dough on the inside then we cover it all in delicious melted mozzarella cheese smokery bacon and deep layers of pepperoni so they keep talking about the deep layers of pepperoni so i'm about to open this up and see how much pepperoni is really on here after i read the instructions of course so let me see bacon instructions for our oven and this temperature of a piece needs to reach 165 is measured by food temperature. We don't have a thermometer or anything to test that. Proper safety, do not allow a piece of the... Uh oh. It says do not allow a piece of the thaw before baking. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, like, the piece has been sitting out at least for like a good six minutes. Pretty oven. Yeah, see, like, how are you gonna tell me to... Do not allow a piece of the thaw before baking, but then you tell me to preheat the oven. So I'm supposed to just leave it up in there, cook before eating, of course. So another thing that stood out to me is I'm supposed to scan this for music. Let's do that. But it was something on here. I'm trying to find it. It was something on here that kind of scared me. Oh, there it goes. It says refrigerate or discard unused proportion. Do not microwave. So my problem is, I enjoy microwaving my food, so you're telling me whatever I don't eat, I have to throw away? That's kind of crazy, but let's go ahead and scan this, and let's open this up and see what we're working with. After scanning this, it only takes me to the website. You see, scan that. Go ahead and click that. And it just takes me to the website. There's no music. There's nothing like that. All I'm on is just the website. All right, there's the front barcode. Let's scan that. It just brings me to the site again. It's only me, so I really can't like set you guys up anywhere or do anything crazy with it. So, 
What is this? Okay. I thought it was just in the cardboard for a second. I was gonna say. Alright. Um, let me go ahead and unbox this and get it right. I'm gonna get it presentable for y'all and then I'm gonna show you. So it says bake for 21 to 23 minutes so i'm gonna set a timer really quickly for i'm gonna say 23 minutes all right we have our timer set 23 minutes this is how the pizza looks it looks cool or whatever i mean i'm gonna be honest it really doesn't look that appealing this side, you could tell like in the box or whatever, like it was more pushed over that side. Like all the bacon and everything is more cluttered towards that side than this side, but it's cool. Still gonna try it and give you guys my honest opinion about it. See, what I can say about it so far is the bacon, I don't like the bacon. I don't like how small the bacon is. It makes me feel like it's not even bacon. I feel like they just put it pork and they just like grinded it up and just threw it all over the pizza. That's the first thing I feel like. And then the pepperoni, it was cool, but I seen the way how they was speaking about the pepperoni, they made it seem like it was gonna be more pepperoni than bacon. And it's like more bacon than pepperoni. But I'm gonna go ahead and let that cook and then I'm gonna taste it and give you guys my initial review. Another thing that I can say I don't like about it is, Music licensing reimagined. I don't know. I'm just gonna say that for the review. I'll, I'll let you guys know. All right, y'all, so here go the taste test. Let's see. All right, after trying that, I'm not finna sit here and cap to y'all. It's mid, like, honestly, I could be, like, I, I'll give it, if I had to rate it one through 10, I'll give it a, like a 6.5 or like a seven. For the simple fact that it just tastes like any other pizza. Like, it tastes like any other pizza that Lil Yachty just threw his name on. And, I don't know. I don't really like the bacon. That's just me, though. Maybe y'all might like it. I don't know. It's cool. You feel me? If you hungry, definitely eat it up. But, it kind of tastes like a... At first, it was giving me like that Lunchable vibe, right? Like, you know, like the Lunchable that everybody done had the piece of Lunchable before. You feel me? That some you warm up, yada yada, boom, with the sauce, pepperoni, cheese. It was giving me that vibe at first, but then it kind of gave me like that. Every other. It just gave me like that every other piece of vibe. I was just expecting something different, you know. I wanted to know if he actually tried it and actually sat down and was here throughout the whole process of choosing what went with, with that, what went together, what, you feel me? I, I just wanted to know, and I wanted to know if, like, he actually sat down and tried these, or if he just threw his name on the brand, signed some paper, and said, let's get it. But all around, I don't know, it's cool. Like, I'm not saying that it's bad. It's not bad. I literally sat here and ate a whole slice, but it's not something that I'll go back and buy like five of just saying yeah i might try the um cheeses though the cheese is supposed to have five different cheeses so if you guys want to see that let's get this video 15 likes it's been your boy jay this shoddy pizza overall it was all right bro i hope you all enjoyed